using a calculator to simplify ratios. This is a method to help you get the right answer when you're simplifying ratios because simplifying ratios is just like simplifying fractions. If you're happier using a calculator then your method is change your ratio to a fraction, simplify it and then change it back to a ratio. So here I've got 3 to 6. If you change that to a fraction, which is 3 over 6, use your calculator and the fraction key to do 3 over 6. That simplifies to 1 half and then you change it back into a ratio 1 to 2. So this one here, change it into a fraction 10 over 12, use your calculator and your fraction key 10 over 12 and I've got 5 over 6 and change it back into a ratio. Small number first here, 5 to 6. 5 to 25, make that 5 over 25, get the answer 1 over 5 and change it back into a ratio. So you change it to a fraction, you simplify on the calculator and change it back to a ratio. Now it only works if the first number is smaller. If the first number is bigger, you might have to be a little bit tricky. So see what happens if I do 24 over 12. 24 over 12, I just get 2. If you want to use the calculator method, you'd have to change it quietly over here so that the small number was on the top. 12 over 24, get the answer for 12 over 24, that's 1 over 2, and then when you go back to your ratio, the big numbers first, we put the big number first, then the small number, so we've got to change the order when we do this just to be a little bit sneaky. So this one here, I can't do 10 over 6, but I can do 6 over 10, that's 3 over 5, and then I know I've got to put the big number first, 5 to 3. So that's how to use a calculator to simplify ratios change it to a fraction and simplify it with the calculator and then write your answer back as a ratio.